Hi guys. Google Data Studio and Tableau are both leading business intelligence and data analytics tools. But which one should you be using? To help you make an informed decision, I'll explain the main differences between Tableau and Google Data Studio, and we'll consider four criteria to see how these two tools stack up. And thank you for using the links in the description. So let's find out which is better for you. For the feature, Google Data Studio works best using Google products, services, and tools. It integrates seamlessly with Google Analytics, Firebase, and BigQuery. It also supports many of its data formats natively. Using the platform with other software presents challenges, such as needing to rely on third-party connectors and integration tools, which may be available at an additional cost, and manipulating data into formats that work with the platform. Google Data Cloud does not always play well with other vendors' cloud data. Importing these data into Google Data Studio may require additional steps or software. But the platform integrates with upwards of 150 cloud SQL, e-commerce, and digital advertising platforms. Tableau has emerged as the leading data analytics solution. It connects to many data sources, including Microsoft Excel, SQL Server, Google BigQuery, Snowflake, SAP, Salesforce, Splunker, and Amazon Redshift. Tableau is an excellent tool for analyzing data. It is part of Salesforce and integrates well with Slack. It has many connectors for different purposes. Tableau is a business intelligence software that allows users to create interactive visualizations and reports. Users can also use Tableau as an analytical tool by creating charts and graphs using data stored in spreadsheets or databases. Tableau is used by many companies, such as Amazon, Facebook, and Microsoft. And for the integrations? Integrations are also called data connectors, as they connect the source to the destination, so you can pull the data. Data Studio gives an extensive list of connectors, which includes 20 Google connectors. That includes Google applications like Google Ads, Google Analytics, etc., and 600 partner connectors. Google has quite a few external connectors for which you need to use third-party connectors to pull the data. You can check Google's recommendations if you're unsure which third-party app to use for pulling data. Google and security firms evaluate these apps to ensure they're safe. Unlike Data Studio, Tableau does not have a direct connection to all the Google products, but it still offers connections to a wide range of connectors using an API. Tableau offers many connections to databases and file-based connections, or even SQL and no SQL databases, or even web-based HTML and Java sources. Both Data Studio and Tableau offer a wide range of data connectors. If you're missing some connections, you can use a tool like Supermetrics to help you move data from marketing and sales sources to Data Studio or Tableau. You can also automate data refreshes with Supermetrics. And for the data visualization, data visualization is one of the most important steps in data analysis to understand your data completely. Google Data Studio's TBI and data visualization solution is adept at delivering attractive charts, graphics, geomaps, heat maps, bullet charts, pie charts, pivot tables, scorecards, and numerous other representations. It offers dashboards that tie together various data sources and data streams, typically from Google's application or online advertising data sources. This makes it ideal for viewing business and marketing metrics that are more digitally focused, including things like ad spend, site traffic, and search rankings. Google Data Studio allows users to customize reports and dashboards, including adding logos, icons, and other properties. Google Data Studio also delivers built-in comparison features that make it easy to view changes over time. However, the solution requires an internet connection to operate effectively, and it only supports about 50 major functions, much fewer than Tableau. Tableau's data visualization platform has emerged as a market leader for a very clear reason. It transforms data into attractive and useful charts, graphics, infographics, heat maps, cluster maps, and much more. The platform, which is designed for both data scientists and casual business users, makes it possible to create, modify, and adapt visuals to match nearly any need or situation. 
Tableau includes powerful interactive visual exploration and analytics and dashboard tools. However, the powerful visualization features that Tableau offers also come at a price. The platform is complex. It has a much steeper learning curve than Google Data Studio. It's best suited for medium to large enterprises that have more sophisticated requirements and staff dedicated to generating visuals. And for the pricing? Pricing is a major deciding factor for many organizations, which is also a big difference when looking at Data Studio and Tableau. Data Studio is a free tool, so you don't have to pay anything to use it, no matter how big the team, Unless you want to bring data from platforms that don't have Google connectors, you might have to look into the partner connectors pricing plans for each one you want to use. While Tableau doesn't offer a free version, it offers a free trial for 14 days. Tableau has multiple pricing packages like Creator, Explorer, Viewer. Depending on the role and functionality level, you can purchase and assign the license. The basic Creator license starts at $70 per user per month, where you can bring data, build, and publish dashboards. The pricing structure for Tableau is designed so you can purchase a less expensive package for team members who won't be using the creating or editing dashboards. For example, the Explorer package costs $42 per person per month, while the Viewer package costs $15 per person per month. All these plans are on a monthly basis and build annually. So choosing between Tableau and Google Data Studio depends on your business and your needs. Both Google Data Studio and Tableau deliver robust visualizations through dashboards and other tools. Both come with advantages and disadvantages, so there's no best solution. It will depend on your current needs. My recommendation? If you're involved in a small to medium business, Google Data Studio may be enough for you, especially if your organization is budget conscious. However, if your business is growing, and challenging the larger companies, go for Tableau. You can also estimate your need by the organization's volume of data and processes. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video. You can check the links in the description. That helps a lot. Thank you. And hopefully this video will help you out. If it did, please leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too, and goodbye for